If you're not ready for the red pill, click off the video. Are oh, y'all still here? Let's get it. Christianity is a plagiarized version of comedic spirituality, which is also used to dumb down the masses and enslave the minds. The entire story of Jesus is plagiarized from the story of Horus, which originates from Egyptian mythology or the comedic spiritual system. This right here is a compare and contrast of Jesus and Horus. You can pause to read. Literally the exact same. The Egyptian influence on Orthodox Christianity is far more profound than most realize. All of us have seen the chick something emblem displayed in many Christian churches and reputed to be the sacred monogram of Christ. This monogram, originally sacred to Horus, was known in Egypt thousands of years before the beginning of Christianity. The whole Christian Bible was derived from the sacred books of Egypt, such as the Book of the Dead, the Pyramid Text, and the Books of Thoth. And here's a quote from the scholar Dr. Alvin Kuhn. The entire Christian Bible creation legend descent into an exodus from Egypt, Ark and Flood, allegory, Israelite history, Hebrew prophecy and poetry, gospels, epistles, and revelation imagery, all are now proven to have been the transmission of ancient Egypt scrolls and papyri into the hands of later generations, which knew neither their true origin nor their fathomless meaning. Christianity was also preceded by Gnosticism. Preceding Christianity, there was a school of science and philosophy which had accumulated practically all the wisdom and knowledge understandable to mankind. The object was to broadly educate the masses of the people by a unit system which would give to humanity a wisdom in common. This was the most potential period in human intellectual advancement the world has known. This school was called Gnosticism. Gnosis means to know. Knowledge. Christianity means to believe. Ignorance. These are the two schools, the one advocating the universal education of men and the other, the universal ignorance of men. One desired to develop the unit man, the other desired to suppress the unit and level all mankind to a common plastic mass. To accomplish this nece necessitated the suppression of all extent knowledge, the closing of all the avenues through which people might acquire independent learning, education and intellectual training, and the debasement of humanity in abject ignorance. Let us continue. The school which pitted itself against Gnosticism assumed the name Ecclesia. This name at once identified the purpose of which the organization was created to seize control of government that it might exploit mankind for profit and for its own glorification. Temporal power was the church goal. If you want any more juice, read this book, which I was just reading from, Christianity Before Christ, Stolen Legacy, or How to Make a Negro Christian. The story of Jesus' is allegory for a state of consciousness. Jesus never existed. He's not a real person. I'm a scholar, nigga. Peace to the gods.